One of the biggest impacts from the pouring rain is now showing up as damage to private property. Our Jose Martinez is live in the mission where some property owners are asking the same question a lot of people have right now. What if my insurance doesn't cover it? That's right, Ryan. So as you can see, the rain hasn't stopped here in the mission. A big concern for everyone, but especially for the residents of this block and the students of this preschool, because basically a retaining wall collapsed on New Year's Eve. Now, they don't have a playground, residents don't have a patio, and there's a whole mess. Take a look at this. This is what the playground of a preschool in the mission looked like a few weeks ago. And this is how it looks now. The back collapsed. So right now we can't bring them here at all because it's not safe. A nightmare that started on New Year's Eve, says Bethica Quinn, yeah. executive director of Centro Las Olas, a small preschool located on 26th Street between Dolores, Cesar Chavez, and Guerrero Street. Today, at least 20 kids have to spend their days in these rooms because what they know was bosque, or the forest, disappeared after a retaining wall collapsed. But they're not the only ones affected. We had gone back inside, so we were standing looking out the window, and we heard this like super loud kind of popping, cracking sound. And then we noticed that the paving stones on the ground were like popping up, um, and then the whole wall just fell down. Neil and his partner Elisa tell me Maybe that this is what their backyard looked like. A peaceful place they've been enjoying for the last eight years. Now it's all gone. Bethika and her neighbors tell me that this muddy and dangerous emergency could cost almost $400,000. Now the question is, who's going to pay for it? If you're thinking about insurance, you're wrong. And they do not consider this to be covered, a uh, covered um, damage because it's a uh, a flood so it's not covered uh, so they said that fema should cover it but the fema disaster that's been declared doesn't doesn't include our county so therefore we're left with with no no options that's why we connected with amy back executive director of the nonprofit united policy holders insurers have really taken a lot of steps over the years to try to um uh basically get out of paying for flood damage, um, earth, earth movement, even earthquakes. So, you know, the state had to create the earthquake authority for that reason. Amy says that now it's time to act. A piece of advice she shares with everyone going through similar issues. Always in a situation like this, you want to talk to a really good policyholder lawyer, um, somebody who specializes in reading insurance policies, um, and might be able to come up with a hook. For now, students like Samira will have to stay in their classroom until their bosque returns to life. Right, what to do when we share this information with Bethika and Neil and her, his partner. And of course, we want to share it with you because maybe you are going through similar issues. You can email Amy. This is the email, info at uphealth.org.